Hello everyone, this video is going to be about the new envelope feature that I've added to Embroiderware. The envelope feature allows you to distort a previously drawn graphic into different shapes. This is typically done for bridging text and things like this. Um, this particular feature is only applicable to the graphics you draw. It doesn't actually bridge lettering text. Uh, that will come later in a later release. Um, but this will do pretty much the same thing if you want. Um, it's a new feature that I've just started playing around with, so I'm kind of trying to get a little bit of experience and feedback with it before I start uh, down the path of putting it in the lettering. Um, so let's get started. So we're just going to go ahead and type in something here. So we'll be happy birthday since it is the embroidery's birthday on the 22nd and let's choose a different font um, we're going to choose the school font um, just so that um, we can have something that looks like school let's see I can't find a school font just yet I guess I'll use the college font. It's in my computer. Academic. I'll use epidemic. Epidemic. <laughs> Not epidemic. Anyway, so here we have the happy birthday font on the screen. And it's uh, just line lettering right now. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to arch this. So basically, this is line graphics. And I'm going to create a arched shape. So I'm just going to draw, just like we do with the fill shape curves, I'm going to draw the same sort of thing. So what we need to do is we need to draw four curves. So I'm going to do a one curve on the top here, and then I'm going to go to a straight curve. I'll just do it like this, and I'm going to do another curve on the bottom. This is the envelope. I'm drawing the envelope here. Now it's not perfect but I'll just demonstrate what it looks like. So the first thing you need to do with the envelope is you need to close it. So we're going to close it. And then we need to add anchors to the corners, just like we did with the fill shape curves. You can look at a video uh, on that too. Um, similar principle, we're going to add anchors to the corners of our envelope. So the way it works is the envelope has to have basically four sides. Uh, so we have the top, the right side, left side, uh, right side, and then the left side and the bottom. And it has to go in this counterclockwise way where we start here and then we draw the first curve, second curve, third curve, fourth curve. This, it creates the envelope. And it needs to know the delineation of the curves by the anchor points. We could make this different shapes if we want. But we're just going to leave that here for now. Um, the anchor... Uh, needs to be the that the envelope needs to be the first item in our list of selections so I got it at the top here it doesn't have to go at the top if you're just going to select within the body of your design but we're going to go ahead and we're going to select all of the graphics Okay, we got all the graphics selected. And then we're going to go to the Modify menu. And you notice the Modify menu has various different modifications. Now we have Envelope Transformation. And so here it says uh, the first selected item is the envelope. So you have to make sure that the first item in your numbering, the numbering system, is always the envelope. Because it assumes that the first item in your selected set of items is the envelope. So we go ahead and we choose Envelope Transformation. And now you will see that we've transformed the lettering into a uh, shape text. Now this, this, this is not text, this is just basically lines. Uh, and so we can use this to create other things. Um, so if we wanted to go ahead and make this a applique, we could go ahead and 
apply applique to it. I'm just going to put it into a satin mode and you can see that it's a satin. Now it's important to note that this transformation is permanent. Um, basically what it's done is it's transformed the graphics into this new shape. So if you want to do experiment with different types of shapes, I encourage you to basically um, perhaps save this off as something else um, or or just you know just keep on undoing until you got what you want. What we're going to do now is we're going to actually go ahead and have a little bit of fun with this. Um, I'm going to put some extra points in here. So before I do that, I'm going to remove all the anchors because when I add points, um, some of the anchors will move around. So we're going to move all the anchors. And I'm just going to add some points to the lines here. And uh, we'll have a little bit of fun with making this different shape. So basically, the envelope is uh, determines where things go. Um, it basically can create some interesting effects and we're going to show you that right now. So if I just change this envelope to something different like that, you'll see that it will just move the lines to the envelope. Oh, it didn't work. <laughs> it didn't work because I forgot to set the anchors. It doesn't know um, what the what the curves that you want to be um, driving it. So we're going to put anchor corners in here. See, even the person who designed the program makes mistakes. So don't worry about you making mistakes. It all happens. Um, all right, so we'll do this once more. Um, here we go. So now you can see that this transformation, it looks like that. So that's kind of fun. Um, there's a lot of standard types of shapes that a lot of these kind of bridge texts go into. Um, I think you've seen some things that people call perspective. So let's try that one. We're just going to undo this and I'll show you what a perspective one looks like. For the perspective, we're going to actually delete this because um, it's easier for us to just go and delete that. So let's do that. So for perspective, we're going to put a short line at the top and the longer lines at the bottom like that. So you can see like this is, you know, off in the distance there's a vanish, vanishing point. Uh, that's kind of how you do perspective. I'm going to move this to the top because I want that to be, the envelope always has to be at the beginning. Oops, it's already there. Okay. All right. So we're going to put more anchors on here again, anchors in the corners. At this point, we're going to select everything again. And we'll do the envelope transform. And you'll see now um, the envelope looks like it's going off in the space, kind of like Star Wars or something like that. Just turn this off so we can see that better. So you can have a lot of fun uh, with the new envelope tool.